Hello, welcome. This is Birdie. Welcome to a new lesson on Houdini. Today we will take the uh, flip tank in the particle fluid in the shelf tool in Houdini. Yeah, it's a long line, but uh, it will be easy. Listen. So let's jump in and get started. Let's start it. Let's start uh, and uh, choose flip tank. He tell me select position from the flip box, right? So let's uh, select. Uh, a place to uh, put it so if you want to put it in the center control and flip tank it will uh, put it on the center right and the other example if we have uh, an object and the object is move and we want the flip tank to move with the uh, object so let's choose uh, test geometry right wrap toy then transform let's make a keyframe in the transform to make a keyframe just use alt and left click right in the number in the parameter right so as we can see it make a keyframe a keyframe so let's move the mouse time to the 50 and let's put 3 right and choose alt and left click so it make two keyframes zero in frame one and three in frame 50 so if you want to to see the uh, these two keyframes uh, let's uh, choose shift and uh, left click so it opened the animator editor for us so we can uh, modify it as we can see uh, uh, it make two keyframes and uh, easy is for the animation but we want to make it linear so the the acceleration will be the same or the speed will will be the same in the first frame and in the last frame right it's more about uh, animation fundamental who know animation fundamental or character animation he will un understand uh, animation fundamental is in and is out and linear and all this stuff right let's uh, hit back or R if we uh, select the object and uh, click flip tank it will create for us the the flip tank right but it's not move with it yet why it's not moving with it yet it didn't uh, read it so let's try it again let's uh, do back let's uh, select it and put the flip tank again no it didn't work as well here there must be a code in the size and in the center so it move with the uh, rubber toy so what the problem let's uh, check what the problem of course we will uh, use more uh, this example in the ocean 
right? But in this uh, sample, I'm not sure why it's not uh, working. So let's delete it. So let's put it in the center. What did he do? He uh, Houdini create all this no four node, right? First node is a merge collision. Okay, it read any collision, right? Then the collision, then the wave tank. If you want to make this node a wave tank from the scratch, we say we choose ocean source. If you want to uh, make it from scratch, but Houdini rename it wave tank, right? Let's delete it. So it creates a wave tank for us. This new uh, node. This is a new node. We didn't take it before. And we used to use the flip source, right? It, it gives us particle and volume, right? This time it gives us a new node called uh, ocean surface or the its name wave tank, right? If we uh, made it click, let's see what it have. We have same thing points and surface. We have the point and volume. We will not uh, explain a lot about the its parameters, but we will just uh, just uh, understand what we can do with this flip tank in next lesson we will uh, explain more and we will dig uh, deep in the ocean source but this time we will just use the wave tank as an example okay so all this is not important now we're not going to talk about it now just we will give a fast uh, example it gives us particle and surface this is particles and this is the surface and if we want to make it we choose plast and we choose the group that we want to delete we have two groups surface and particles so if we want to particles and we choose delete some non-select give us same group right so if we want the particle uh, itself we choose delete non-select and if you want the other uh, group we we don't uh, check the delete non select. Let's do another one and choose surface and check delete non select. So it will delete everything except the surface. Okay. And this will be the same. Okay. And this node it uh, create by default from the shelf tool. Okay. So it choose this method, right? It choose a particle and uh, check delete non select. This is the method that Houdini used. Okay. Let's go back. We will not talk about too much about it. We will explain it from scratch, but in another lesson. Okay. What is important now to and to have a result? Then we go in Houdini. Okay. This is what important now. 
if you try to understand Houdini and there is no result you will lost and you will get bored so it's better to have a result first then we will uh, run in Houdini okay so we get inside the Autodub network we have flip object okay flip object as we know and here it choose uh, narrowband usually it was using uh, choose surface but in this example it choose narrowband because the flip tank we use uh, it has something called uh, narrowband okay so if we if we can see this thickness this there is other particle uh, under this uh, line but it's not necessary because the surface is the important right so it deletes uh, what particle under the surface but keep the surface okay and it does this just uh, it do this just uh, because when we have a, a, a simulation most of the action and collision happened on the surface so we don't need uh, any any calculation or, or most of the action will happen on the surface so we don't want any particle under the surface or we will not going to need it right so that's why uh, Houdini or, or this new system narrowband it will uh, just remove the uh, uh, the particle under the narrowband and just keep the narrowband okay so here it read two things read the initial particles the if we if we see it this is the particle right and the other thing is a surface volume the note of the tunnel of the surface or the, the the surface the volume surface right okay We have physical collision. There is nothing really important now. We we talk about it here, but we have a gravity force because we uh, we need it always. So it created uh, by default the gravity force. Okay. Then we have the null output. Okay. If we go back let's uh, create an object if we drop something or something moving let's use this uh, this toy rubber and let's get it up from this uh, node from the translate okay now we want to import this uh, object in the to the auto top network and then the gravity take over right but uh, we cannot use the collision deforming object in this case why because uh, because this object it doesn't have any animation so deforming object it, it's a, it's for the character that have animation but in our case this character doesn't have any animation Okay. So what shall we do? If we get inside here, as we can see, it didn't read it. We want to import it inside, right? We will, uh, if we choose static object and uh, select the toy, uh, the toy rubber. It will not fall down right as we can see it's not going to fall down so what shall we do 
it's very easy let's just uh, control control Z so how can we get it inside it uh, the flip object let's go to rigid and select RPD hero object okay so RPD object is for the uh, object that we want to import it in the uh, in the auto dot not auto top network and the gravity take over from it okay so we will use rbd hero object let's select it let's make sure we are not select anything okay and go to uh, rigid body and let's uh, choose RBD object. Okay, RBD object select. So as we can see here, it creates a new node called RBD object, right? And it read the 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 character. In the auto top to auto top network if we uh, hit play it will start to fall down right as we can see here the the down uh, place it read the particle surrounding the uh, object only but not the the whole uh, bottom right so this narrow band is very smart system it treat the object if the object uh, collision with the surface it will only uh, uh, calculate the, the particle on the surface but if the object get uh, down the, the box fall down it will read the particles that surrounding only the uh, with the object okay if we uh, make ground let's put minus one just to make it little down minus two let's uh, put it uh, down more increase uh, or decrease the number because this is by minus so if we hit play so as we can see here the object hit the ground and stay on the ground okay stay on the ground stay on the ground freeze right as we can see there is a simulation on the flip uh, object so this is the use of flip tank right in the next lesson uh, we will uh, discuss the emit particle float and we will continue the shelf tool tools in the particle fluid uh, in Houdini so this was the end of this lesson I hope you enjoyed and I see you uh, in the next time have a good day